In the last few weeks, Polish Air Force has bought a new aircraft, light, like, uh, light attack aircraft KAFA-50PL. What equipment Raytheon would like to offer for this aircraft? Yes, the opportunity for FA-50 is a great aircraft for Poland, and Raytheon is offering a radar known as Phantom Strike, which is a compact AESA radar specifically designed for the FA-50 sized aircraft to provide capabilities to advance its capabilities along with having a very low maintenance, a air-cooled system. It provides a very advanced AESA capability at a very low price point. So it's an ideal solution for the FA-50. What is the status of this program? Is this de development, developmental work or is this real existing device? We've been uh, developing this uh, radar since 2017. So it is far in advance in that development process, real hardware available and being tested already. Uh, we have shown that information to KAI, Korean Aerospace Industries, which is the South Korean uh, company that is offering and selling the FA-50 to Poland. It is a U.S. aircraft, but Poland has a licensed production of that aircraft that's being sold now here to Poland. And so our radar will be offered as part of that solution. Could you tell us some details about capabilities of this radar? Yeah, so the capabilities are classified, but what I can say is the opportunity is to bring in our gallium nitride capability, which is a technology we've been developing for many years, but the first time to utilize it on a fire control radar to provide really advanced capabilities on a smaller size aircraft. So with this radar, we can provide F-16 level and better performance than the current F-16 AESA that's currently deployed on the F-16 in a smaller package on this FA-50. So the actual detection range is better than an F-16 because of the GAN. The amount of power available on an FA-50 is less than what you would typically see on an F-16. So in order to get maximum efficiency, we utilize our GAN technology to provide even better performance even though there's less power required. And then along with that, very important for electronics is cooling. This system has a proprietary air-cooled design so we require no liquid cooling whatsoever, which again allows us to get very high performance of the radar. So it has a full software complement of suites to provide air-to-air, air-to-ground, SAR mapping, uh, all of the things you would expect with an ASA radar in a much more compact configuration and a much lower price point because of that size. One of the Polish Air Force requirements for FA-50 is integration of MRAM missiles. Is it possible to integrate MRM with Phantom Strike radar, and if yes, how long it will take and how much it will cost? Uh, yes, so the importance of having the ability to integrate with U.S. weapons is very important for the FA-50, since Poland is already utilizing U.S. weapons today on their current inventory. Having compatibility between the two platforms is very important. Our radar is the only radar today that has the ability to integrate with U.S. weapons. And of course, because those weapons are produced by Raytheon Technologies, we have a very uh, detailed understanding of how to do that integration. We've done it many, many times. So it can be done very, very quickly and at very low cost, uh, effectively within our normal cost of our operations to uh, employ the radar onto the aircraft. The integration will come along with that. How long it will take to deliver this aircraft to the Polish Air Force and how long you need to install this radar in the aircraft which KAI will provide to Poland? Yes, we understand how important the schedule is to bring this capability to Poland as soon as possible. So we're working with KAI on the actual delivery schedule. Overall, our understanding is that they want to be delivering these aircraft in 2025. So very quickly, we are very much capable of providing the radar, installing and integrating it onto the aircraft on that timeline to be able to deliver this capability to Poland in that time frame. Are there any plans to establish MRO facility for this radar in Poland? And are there any plans for future Polonization of this radar according to require requirement of Polish Air Force? That's an interesting question. One of the features of our Phantom Strike radar is there's only three boxes or what we call line replaceable units, LREUs. So there really isn't maintenance of this program. Because of the low cost of the radar, if something were to fail and it has a very high reliability, you would generally pull it out and just replace it. So there isn't a lot of repair work. That being said, this radar is fully exportable. 
and we're able to do work in country. So we're very interested in having conversations with Polish industry on potentially manufacturing the, the actual radar itself rather than just on the maintenance front to actually produce the radar is something we're interested in having conversations here in country because we know how strong Polish uh, industry is and we think there's a great opportunity uh, for participation. Thank you and we wish you, wish you all the best in the Polish market. All right, thank you so much for the time.